They're set. Light on 1100, wait for age. They're off. Lord of the Sky jumps away well on the inside with Le Bon Sir and Mr. Make Believe got away fast on the outside. So the battle for the early lead and it's Mr. Make Believe on the outside but Lord of the Sky goes through and heads his stable mate now. Le bon Sir two links away third then Rizzis who's out wide and then African Pulse. Two links to Hanapine a length and a half to good value and Morant the tail ender. Lord of the Sky left alone a length and a half clear. Mr. Make Believe second and neck to Rizzis by the 600. One and a half Le bon Sir fourth on the inside of then African Pulse. They're three, Johanna Pine, Good Value and Morant. So Lord of the Sky, the favourite at the 400, comes around the turn by almost a length. Mr. Make Believe and Riz is poised. Running on around the outside, African Pulse and then Le bon Sir into the straight now. Lord of the Sky being held together for the moment. Riz is running on. Mr. Make Believe is still there and then Le bon Sir 200 to go. Lord of the Sky, he's lengthened the break. He's two in front now to Le bon Sir running on and then Mr. Make Believe and Riz is, but Lord of the Sky he is the real deal. He's three clear he goes away for Dwayne Dunn. Lord of the Sky won it by four in the post, Le bon Sir. Riz is third, Mr. Make Believe ran fourth. African Pulse struggled home, followed by Morant, and at the end, Good Value and Johanna Pine. Lord of the Sky just all too good, wasn't he? All pace, and then away he went. He's won that in brilliant style. First run on soft ground. 1,100 metres wasn't an issue controlled the race and sprinted away and put them to bed. Up to 58 and a half at the weight for age. None of it mattered. He was just way too good. A darn good sprinter has won the Sir John Monash. Number eight, Lord of the Sky for Robbie Lang and Dwayne Dunn. Time around 15.25. And he's won it in uh, quite comfortable style. Second placing goes to four Le Bon Sir. 30. He's a very versatile trainer, Robbie Lang. He's got stayers, he's got jumpers, he's got sprinters, he's got two-year-olds that can get up and run. And uh, this horse has handled the weight for age jump very, very well. Now, they're no stars, but Le bon Sir, when he got out and started chasing, you thought he might have been able to take some ground off floor to the sky, but he just did it so easily. And he's got so much more to learn. He's lightly raced. That's only his eighth start, for goodness sakes. He's going to make a nice racehorse. Haven't the uh, Dunn family been in the news in the last half hour? Dylan Dunn's uh, son had a, a crash through the mounting yard running rail and has been wheeled away. He's quite OK. And his father, Dwayne, comes out and wins the Monash today on Lord of the Sky. 260, 120, Le Bon Sir, 170, Riz is 160, and they were no match whatsoever.